I think that made it right. <laughs> Alright, cool. Warning. The actions in this next bit are only for extreme professionals. Do not try this at home. Just kidding. Side note. This next bit is also extremely fake and purely for entertainment for not only you guys, but ourselves. Enjoy. Just like the old trend a few years ago where people did bottle flips and basketball shots acting as if every single one of them made it, here is our own take at Hater Says Fake. Let's go. <laughs> so they're about to race in these tubes with oars as like pool noodles and we're gonna see how it goes this isn't gonna be a close race she thinks she's winning she's wrong she can follow me if she wants second place <laughs> the rivalry continues. Take your marks. Get set. Go! Cassandra wins again! <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> So off camera, we did one without the pool noodles and Gabby ended up winning her first one. So now we're gonna record this one again, except it's the same way we did in one of the older videos with no oars, they're swimming with their stomachs on the tube. So let's see how it goes. Take, take your marks, get set, go. Oh no, Gabby. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was that, that was perfect. We get we can redo that, but that was perfect for the vlog. <laughs> redo shot right now. Take your marks. Get set. Go. Gabby, you got sprint, sprint, sprint. Ah, uh, and Cassandra won again. I was happy. <laughs> Good job. What if we this? <laughs> Try it. All right, now my turn to race. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Take your mark. Get set. Go. David didn't lead. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> you okay? David, how does it feel to win the Super Bowl? Feels great. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra. See you next year. So. On to the next part of the video, the title of the video, you guys came here to see what it's about. Every time this topic comes up subtly in conversations, I get the same reactions. You have a job? On top of everything else? Now the reason for those questions is they know how heavily invested I am into architecture, uh, other schoolwork, and swimming. I put a lot of time and effort into all three of those things and it takes up a lot of time that I otherwise could be putting toward this job and any other job. It's not an easy balance at all. But the answer is yes, I do maintain a job somehow. Uh, it's actually kind of surprising with like how busy of a schedule I've had, but I somehow maintain a position. The thing is, I barely work that position as a lifeguard not going to say where because of who knows legal purposes in the future etc but in the moment the thing that keeps me afloat is the scholarships and grants i have earned from my academics in school from high school and even in college so for now that's going to have to do well as i continue to strive with goals for swimming uh, architecture and other school work as well Another thing that keeps me afloat is the fact that I live in my house. I live with my parents, my family, and I save some money from that 
But otherwise from that, it's mainly scholarships and grants. Damn it, it just has to rain during this video. That's all right. But the time has come where I have to return back to the workplace. I have a meeting tomorrow, and it's only going to be the second time I'm driving since the beginning of quarantine. On Saturday was the first time driving since quarantine because I was delivering some mangoes to a teammate and his mom because, as you've seen in the last video, we have had so many mangoes coming down from the tree. It's been insane. We've done a lot of things. We've stored mangoes. We uh, juiced them, cut them up, put them in the fridge, etc. But it still is quite a bit of mangoes to handle. So we decided to give some away to a friend. Might give some away to some more friends, etc. But we'll figure that out later. So tomorrow will be the day I return to work for the first time in quite some time. Um, I do work every once in a while here and there to maintain the job, but I haven't been there in a while, so it's gonna be kinda weird. Some of the people in the team, I, I guarantee you I have not met, so it's gonna be weird, but it's okay. We're gonna go tomorrow for the meeting and see what's up, <laughs> what they wanna discuss, guidelines to work, etc. We have to wear masks, gloves, uh, six feet apart, stuff like that. I'll show you the process tomorrow. The next day. We're about to head over to my job, but it is downpouring out. So I'm gonna go quick, there's a lot of lightning. Yeah, it's pretty much really soaked, but we'll see how it goes. guys just got to my job gonna get gloves on mask etc and then going for the meeting and I'll let you guys know how my job handles stuff uh, later on like the safety precautions etc it was downpouring a second ago so I got my raincoat and got an umbrella too it's kind of calmed down but you know who knows got gloves And I got my mask. Cool. See you guys later. One hour later. Hey guys, just got out of my job. Uh, good thing to know that they have taken the safety precautions very seriously. Probably way more than most gyms and businesses like that. So I'm really glad about that. Into phase one, it's going to be a lot of stuff that are being blocked off. Very much limited. You have to reserve to swim in a lane, etc. They're not using the, sh the changing rooms, the showers, nothing like that. You walk in, you swim for 45 minutes on reservation, you get out, and you leave. That's pretty much it. Hey guys, just got home from work. I'm going to go inside and clean up, and then I'll let you know how everything went in a little while. Okay, so this is a basic layout of my job, or at least the places that I access the most, um, and a lot of customers as well. So they enter here, right, past the staff area. They go through rather the men's or the women's locker room, and then they go in, they change, put their stuff in the lockers. Same thing here, go to the bathroom, whatever. Then they go out and around the little railing and through the doors. Through the doors, they go to the pool. Some of them go lap swimming, back and forth. Or they come over here, hang out, hang out over here some more, hang out over here by the family pool, go swim in the family pool, etc. Um, little kids come in through here. Then they go over here, play around in this area, go down the slide, etc. Hang out here, hang out here, jump around here, etc. Craziness. But then they eventually go back in through, uh, do their stuff, get out, and leave, right? Or some of the kids go through the kid locker rooms over here and then get out and leave this way. 
So now this is another version of the basic layout of the area I work in. And this is the new rules that they are restricting to help the phase one of the coronavirus thing pass through. Everybody goes in, they get their temperature checked over here, they pass through the staff area, they go through the locker rooms here and here, but they do not use this area or this area, the bathrooms and the locker rooms and stuff. They are not allowed to change on deck like in the rooms, they change out their house and then they come on to the process so it goes as quick as possible. They walk through and then go into the pool when is their time for reservation. They get 45 minutes swim there and back, 45 minutes, whatever. And this pool is going under renovation so it is not being used. These bathrooms are also off limits so they just go back and forth, 45 minutes, whatever. Then they leave, go through their locker rooms, and leave. But they are not allowed to go to the bathroom. They are not allowed to change, etc. To keep the process very efficient and clean. And we get 15 minutes each in between the 45 minutes to clean the six chairs that are sitting in front of the six lanes. Only one person per lane unless they have a family member that they can swim with then they have two maximum limit is ten per pool and that is the way my job is doing good to help with the limitation of spread of coronavirus and that's all for this video my job is doing very well to help the spread of coronavirus decrease, help phase one, eventually go to phase two, phase three, and then eventually I'll get back to normal life. Thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Instagram at davidgens1 and have a great rest of your day. Do something great, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time.